Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Tropico 6. Have the commando garrison complete, complete. And then I get these, right. Yeah, I don't like this dude. I don't I don't want to be known as the, the mad military dictator of the Caribbean. That's not the way that I want to do this. I want to be known as the mad, insanely rich dictator of the Caribbean that doesn't, um, like, invade all of his neighbours. He just makes piles and piles of money. That would be much better. Support percentages of citizens who would certainly vote for you in relation to the total number of citizens eligible to cast a vote. The actual votes cast for you on election day might be higher depending on the currently undecided citizens. Population 318. So we're hovering around 50% at the moment. Let's go and have a look at the raid screen. Raid points. Ah, so raid points seem to be increasing. Oh, I see. I, I like generate raid points over time. I'm generating here for Pirate Cove as well. That's done. I've com haven't I completed it? I don't understand what's just happened. Focus on mission training. Budget. Open the raid screen. Raid points minus 2,000. Oh, it's, it's currently underway, I'm assuming. Like, if I click on it, it just adds it to the overall list. There we go. Look, see? Commandos are gathering. Commandos are departing. Executing mission. Commandos are returning. No raid in progress over here. Commando garrison intimidating neighbors. So the commandos are gathering on there. So I've got this pirate cove one. Loot, bananas, hides, and iron. Uh, takes six months. Pirates will roam the seas in search of flotsam. So we have pirates roaming the sea, just in search of random stuff that's floating around. Well, that's not so bad, is it? Let me try that one. I'm going to let that one run right there. And then I can go to the overview right here. No raid in progress. Current raid points production 27. I got this one, but I got raid points there that are accumulating, which means that we will have the banana thing. We're executing the mission at the moment. All right, I'm starting to understand this a little bit now. I'm starting. I'm. I am. I'm starting to get a feel. Why have I got raid? Why are the raid points stopped? I don't know what that's all about. Pirate Cove down here. The raid points are start they, they seem to be starting and stopping. Okay, so now we got this one. Pirates gathering bananas. Uh, then they'll be departing and then they'll be executing the mission. So, I mean, if I look over here, I've got some work. Oh, we see, like, we've got workers. Education required on a mission. And I look at these dudes in here. Look at all of these. There, look. See, education required. High school. Wage 15, activity on mission, raid points 9, raid finishing in about 3 months. So when we open up our raid screen in here and we look at this one, so then the commandos will be returning in another couple of months. Once they've gone and done this, I need to keep the, the time scale um, right. Let's, let's leave that go, that there isn't really a lot else I can do for a second. I need to wait for this one to happen now. The commando garrison has returned, the pirates are still out. Remember the, poli the political views of citizens, depending on the standing of the corresponding factions, they determine how much the individual agrees with your government. That, together with the happiness, determines a person's approval. Depending on their level of approval, a citizen will either be for you, against you, or will decide on election day. The percentage of eligible citizens who will vote for you is called support. You can find more detailed information on your support in the Almanac. Open the Almanac. At the moment, I got 67% support, so apparently that raid was a good thing. Open the Almanac on the politics tab and inspect President, your aid is appreciated. With your help, we'll double our armed forces, redouble our efforts, and halve our expectations. What? None of what you said makes a lot of sense when all put together. 
we can do it together. Superiority, superiority of numbers is the key to warfare after all. So, should we use force multiplication to divide and conquer before it's T minus zero? You really need some help, dude. You really need some help. Um, plus five military is standing is probably going to be a good thing. So, we'll go with some of that just for, just for a minute. And we'll go to the almanac here and we go to the politics. So, militarists at the moment, militarists, we got 17, indifferent 24, indifferent 26, communists of 52, faction leader, communist demand, historical relations, religious of 51, ultimatums plus 6, religious demand minus 1, why is the ultimatum plus 6? I didn't give you what you wanted. Commando Garrison minus one there. Military over here. Ultimatums minus 45. I don't understand why that's minus 45 for what what ultimatums. I, I don't know. This is a tutorial, so it doesn't really matter all that much. Every 10 years, people will ask for elections. If you lose, you lose the game. So if your support is very low, it will be a short-term option to not allow elections. But this will directly affect all your voters on a personal level, further decreasing their approval for some time. The good thing is you can decide to hold an election speech in order to sway some of the voters in your favour by using different rhetoric tricks tailored toward the current political situation. Hold an election speech. The citizens are demanding elections, Presidente. It seems that they want a choice in how they are ruled. So selfish. Shall we give them what they want, or shall we make them want what you want? I always want what you want, and you always want what you want, so shouldn't they also want what you want? I will deliver an amazing speech. Presidente, it is time for your election speech. This is a good opportunity to get undecided voters on your side. Please select the highlights of your speech. Acknowledge issue. Healthcare. Housing. Jobs. We will acknowledge the housing happiness issue. Housing happiness does not contribute to the approval voters of a voters for the election. Job happiness does not contribute. Liberty happiness does not contribute. Does not contribute. What does... Nothing contributes. Please select the... How's it? None of it contributes to the approval of voters for the election. I guess I need to just pick one. Acknowledge job happiness. I'm going to acknowledge fun happiness. Praise. Does not contribute to the approval of voters. Praise capitalists to temporarily increase their standing. I suppose if we praise the military... Wait, wait, I've got an idea. Uh, overlays, that's the election speech that we're working on at the moment. No, not overlays, here. All right, scrap that. We've got to work our, we've got to work our way through here. So uh, we'll go with the capital. I, I'm trying to remember which one had the most people in it. Praise capitalists. Blame the superpower. Does not contribute to approval of voters. Temporarily increase the capitalist standing. The allies will blame the allies. Blame allies to gain voter approval while worsening relations with the superpower. Promise improvements. Oh, right. Acknowledge that we have faith happiness or liberty. Liberty happiness, I would think, would be the best one. Or food. We, no, we will, we'll go with the food one. But then f faith is the highest one. But food happiness, I think, would have a broader appeal. Food happiness does not contribute. Praise the capitalists to temporarily increase their standing. Blame allies to gain voter approval. Promise improvements in housing. Undecided voters most dissatisfied with housing happiness vote for El Presidente. So... That's the one that we want to go with, is the housing happiness right there. We need to make a promise. There. 
Housing happiness. That's the one we're going to go with. Where's my speech? Hold the speech. The current uh, support is displayed on the top. Almanac, research, raids, trade, constitution, politics. Era outline. Where's my speech happening? Elec election day in 23 months. I don't know what's going on there. My ah. tropicans. My people. My children. Your prosperity is my honor. Your solidarity is my faith. And I gracefully accept your love. You are my tropico. But what are my people? Your presidente knows your troubles. Your rumbling bellies are as loud as your cheers. Well, no more rumbling. I will let you eat cake. Our ongoing prosperity is supported by the capitalists. With thanks. We're grateful for the many fulfilling jobs you create for my people and your progressive attitudes towards taxation. <laughs> of course, we have enemies too. These so-called allies mislead with their very name. Their propaganda is advanced, but we shall not be fooled. Uh, what can you look forward these to numbers, in the years to changing. come? Better housing, slantier roofs, straighter <laughs> walls, more transparent windows. <laughs> the Tropican House of Tomorrow is built with standards. It is you, my friends, who I thank for making me what I am today. I am proud to be your Presidente. Viva Tropico! We're going to be building houses with slantier roofs. That's going to get us the election. The actual election will be held one year after its announcement. Until then, you still have the possibility to raise your support by pushing faction standings or bribing faction leaders. Loyal Penultimo will come once before the election to offer to rig the elections in your favor, guaranteeing you a certain victory at the cost of losing more people to the rebels after the election. Win the election in the election by any means necessary. Right, we will do what we can to win an election. We've got 19 months. We've got a 76% approval rating at the moment, which I would say is pretty good. I uh, want to go to the Almanac and have a look at politics. So you, you basically, you've got to like play around with these people. Capitalist versus communist, religious versus militarist, is it? I don't know. Support, undecided 16, opposition 4%. The capitalists had a bit of a boost. The communists over here. Moderates, strong, diehard, standing modifiers. Military, miscellaneous modifier. I don't know what these modifiers are for the military. And then religious over here. They seem fairly happy with us, to be honest. Most of the people seem fairly happy with us. I've got no idea how I would go about changing anything. The allies are not overly thrilled with me at the moment. Um, so I need to... If, if I was to improve fun, would that improve things? We've got the election days in 17 months. So if I go here and I go to entertainment... Right, Tavern is 1,200. Provides fun to visiting citizens and tourists preferred by cultural tourist visitors must be at least poor. Decreases crime safety in the area. Visitors must be at least poor, preferred by child tourists. Botanical gardens, uh, there is no wealth requirement. Reduces pollution. Provides fun. Let's build some botanical gardens. People are going to like this. They're going to like this a lot. So we've got a couple of buildings over here already. Uh, gonna ignore that, and I'm gonna ignore that island there at the moment as well. I'm gonna put a botanical gardens in here. I'm gonna plonk that one down over here. Look, there, botanical gardens right next to El Presidente's palace, just because I think it's gonna look very cool. 
And I'm going to go construction in here, a funfair pier, visitors must be at least poor, a restaurant, they must be well off or better. I'm going to build another botanical garden, and I'm going to build one of these over here, because there's a lot of people over here that just don't get to have the nice things in life. So let's give them some nice things, shall we? Let's put that one in there. And I want to take a road right there. And I'll put that one up to there. And I'm going to put a road along there like that. I don't know if I should put another road in or not. I, I, I won't put another road in. And we want to go to construction over here and residential. So we've got bunk houses here and we've got these. So that emits it must be rich or better, must at least be poor. Tenants must be well off or better. Well off. Let's build another bunk house because I've got... I've got some quite poor places down here by the look of it. So I will build a bunk house over there. Because look at these shacks that are slowly accumulating. And then there's more shacks over this way. So we need to... And I, they don't need to be alongside the roads either, do they? At least I don't think they do. Bunkhouse. What happens... Does it need to be near a road? I'm going to put the bunkhouse down here like this. Just to see if it's got to actually be up against the road. So I've got a few bunk houses being built over there. Now, that's 78%. That has actually... Hasn't that dropped? Wasn't it? Eight? No, it's now 80%. This is good. This is good. We, we've, we've got these buildings going up. So I've got some construction happening over that side. And I've got some construction happening over this side. Building under construction there. But there's nobody on that one at the moment. This is the building that's happening at the moment. I've got three buildings over on this island. So 77% here for support. 9% down. I'm building this botanical garden. In comes the builders and they're working on that one. And then we're going to go with high priority housing here and here. Once the botanical gardens have been finished... Go on, finish those. Right. Botanical gardens are done, and now we're on 77% on here. And we're now building houses. Kind of hoping that these bunk houses will get people to like me more. 79%? That's, that's gone up slightly. we got six months left. I've built two houses. That means we should get... Yeah, we've got less of these shacks here. That's a good thing. That's a very good thing. And then I've also got this one over here, which is being I'm built. I'm sure the good citizens of Tropico intend to vote for you, Presidente. I myself intend to vote for you many, many times. Huh? Not sure it's supposed to work like that. But can we trust the citizens to vote correctly? I wouldn't want them to wake up on the day of, after the election in a state of confused regret. Perhaps we should help them with their own good. Yes, subtly adjust... Yes, subtly pre-adjust the ballots. To, uh, minus 20 personal experience for each citizen who voted against you after the election. No, allow the citizens to vote freely. I will go on what the citizens want. Uh, we, we will see if I, if I can actually win the election or not. I, I, I may not be able to. Um, I'm not going to quick build that in uh, two months. All right, let's quick build it. There. That immediately lost me support by quick building the botanical gardens. But now I've got the support coming back up again. I'm going to just pause a second. Because the election day is any minute now. And I'm going to go and have a look in the almanac. And I'm going to go to politics over here. We've got several indifferent here. for the Oh, they're indifferent on the factions, I think. Not necessarily for me. So, military down here. We've got a lot of military diehards and a lot of strong people. It's the military. It's these ultimatums down here. That is affecting the military more than anything, I believe. So we've got the people, growth, decline, age, economy in here, revenue and expenses. The treasury is heading downhill there. 
Why is it every game I play, my treasury always looks the same? It's always got a downhill track. Always building lists in here. Uh, happiness, their fun is still quite low. So is the job. And housing has gone up a little bit, actually. Hasn't it? Yeah, I don't know. Right. Election day, 79%. The election is a landslide, Presidente. The metaphorical kind, not the kind that accidentally reduces the size of the workforce. Of course, the outcome was never in doubt. The people love their Presidente almost as much as your loyal penultimo does. And see, I, I, I have a present for you. Your very own wartime Medal of Valor for, correct, for courage, selflessness, and electability. It is made of chocolate, so be careful in the sun. <laughs> Results, 53 loyal Tropicans voted for you. Eight individuals voted for your rival. Well, there we go. Right, religious uh, voting rights, wealthy citizens vote, armed forces, militia, constitution of Tropico, confirm changes, revert changes. So, uh, wait, what? Huh? What am I supposed to do here? Labour policy, ecology. I can't change anything. Confirm changes, voting rights, wealthy citizens vote. Keeping all the factions sweet is the key to political success. It is also impossible, which is why politics is such good fun. Just try and keep all the political plates spinning, and if you drop one, sweep up the pieces and claim that you meant to do it. The good news is the factions will tell you when they're unhappy. It does take some guesswork out of it all. It does take some of the guesswork out of it all. Right, uh, continue to the next tutorial chapter. All right, yeah, well, let's carry on. We are slowly learning how to play this game, and so far I'm liking what I see. I'm thinking that I may Government. even... Government, this is Loyal Penultimo's specialist subject. I have all the specs and diagrams at home. Yeah, I'm thinking I may even be able to play this game once we've done the tutorial. Of course... I learned everything from the greatest politician of all time. You, Presidente. It is a pleasure to watch you work. May I video it? No? That is too creepy. Of course, Presidente. You know best. Yeah, that is a little bit creepy, dude. A major fun part of being a dictator is to come up with new rules, issuing edicts, and changing the constitution for bigger impacts. But one step at a time. To research, we first need a building that generates knowledge. We need a library. Right. Construction. Media and education, look at all of the stuff. Like, seriously, look at all of the stuff that we're going to have to build to, like, run all of this. this. This is insane. Library. I need a library. And guessing I've got to put the library here somewhere. Is that it? Spot is already taken. That bit there. Oh. Apparently I can put it anywhere. So what's the white squares for? I don't know what the white squares are for. I kind of like the library being over here. I'll put the library right there, like that. Opposite the Presidente's house. Building under construction. They are already See? on site. Or approaching site, anyway. Just speed that up a little bit. And... Come on, guys. Get to work. Like, you need to be... There we go. There we go. Look, see, they're doing the whole building thing. And on they go. We're, we're approaching halfway. It doesn't have, like... A, I prefer a slightly different building style to this. Like, it's all right, but I, I would prefer a different building style to that, where you actually see the building being constructed in stages. It tends to look nicer. To work in the library, a Tropican needs to have high school education. Other workplaces may even require college education. You can build high schools and colleges to qualify people over time. For now, we want educated workers quickly, so let's request some from abroad. Except, right, well, we go in here. We go to worker here. Do you really want to hire a foreign worker for $250? Yes, I do. I've done that. Invite worker. I did it. Hire foreign worker, 260. 
So how long before my foreign worker gets here? Still waiting. I got these two. But my foreign worker has not yet arrived. Ah, right. Now they have arrived. The library workers generate knowledge that you can spend to research new regime tools like building work modes, constitution amendments, and edicts. Select any researchable item to have it researched. You can also select multiple items and add them to a queue to be researched one after the other. Research wealth tax. Okay, so we go to research down here. Wealth tax. Gain $5 for every rich or filthy rich adult each month. Decreases capitalist standing by 20. Increases communist standing by 15. Free wheels. With decreased capitalist standing by 15. Increased communist standing by 10. The edicts cost 1,000 per month. Right to arms. Increases liberty. Decreases crime safety. Military squads deal 10% more damage. Decreases militarist standing by 15. Increase industrialist by 7. Increase capitalist by 7. The right to arms. Apparently the military don't like the right to arms. What have we got over here? Newsca newspaper work mode. So anyway, we go with the wealth tax. Knowledge required 88. Knowledge 1,400. So now we've just got to let them work their way through it. Knowledge required. I've got the knowledge. Just need to wait for that one to finish. Right, that one's gone through. Most edicts can be toggled on and off and by having them run for a certain time. Those edicts can be leveled up, which decreases their running costs, improves their effects, or mitigates their negative effects. In contrast, some edicts have a fixed effect and can only be issued again after a cooldown time has passed. These cannot be leveled up. Use the issue the wealth tax edict, issue the industrialization edict. Edicts. You gain five for every rich or filthy rich adult. Decreases capitalist standing by 20. Increases communism by 15. Uh, if I look in here to here, capitalists are 49, communists are 50. Military is 45, religion. So we're fairly well balanced at the moment. Then we go into the edicts and we bring in the old for wealth some tax. Reason. Other nations never quite managed to properly tax the wealthiest people. Tropico could make some sweet moolah by raising a tax that only affects the wealthiest citizens. It's free money in the treasury, and the only downside is the burning hatred of the capitalists. Besides, the communists are likely to view this as rather hilarious. Yeah, they probably will. Right, so we're going to make the wealthiest people pay a bit more. Pay their fair share. See how that works out. And industrialization. Right here. With a with the program pro for industrialization. We can plan far enough ahead to make money, but not so far ahead as to have to worry about environmental impact. With just one not so small upfront fee, we can slash the cost of building each and every new factory. It is not only a great way to boost the economy, but it also helps fill our skies with the pleasing wispiness of chimney smoke. <coughs> Right, so we want the pleasing wispiness of chimney smoke, apparently. Decreases the construction cost of all industrial buildings by 50%. The edict runs for two years and has a cooldown of four. So I'm assuming it's got an environmental penalty of some kind. Um, but it doesn't say what such an edict might be, what, what a penalty might be. Uh, right, well, anyway. A great tool for pleasing factions and receiving gameplay bonuses is the Ministry. It allows you to assign ministers... And we've run out of time for today's episode. Even tyrannical despots need to take a little bit of time off work occasionally. Uh, there's a few names appearing on the screen for you from the Great Book of Names. Just my little thank you to everybody that supports the channel. The names will change after every episode as I cycle through the lists. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please hit down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.